Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I'm going to be showing you a quick way to get the magazine style grades now this is um that contrasty um low saturation look that you probably seen like a lot of magazines some commercials so i'm going to be showing you a quick way to do this and, and, and get that look now this works basically when you're shooting your images and, and everything is like high key or your model or your subject is well lit so you have to put that at the back of your mind but before we get into today's video please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this also click the bell icon right to the subscribe button so that you can be one of the first people to know when i put up a new video and follow me on social media if you have any questions that um you feel like you want to ask me definitely go follow me on instagram send me a message and i reply mostly there also i have something i do on instagram where i go on live once in a while and you can like just call in and talk to me and and just you know i don't know talk about anything you want to talk about photography and filmmaking so yeah so let me not delay you guys without further ado let's get into today's video now let me show you the before of this image so this is the before of this image i shot this image um with a very high um what do you call it white balance i i think my white balance was about six thousand and the reason was because i wanted the image to be very warm now i also knew that was going to come with a lot of saturation so i put that at the back of my mind before I actually shot this image and I knew exactly what I was going to do when I um, bring it to post-production so this is the after as you can see it's it's a lot more low-key right now you know it, it, I'm talking about the colors not the lighting obviously now let me show you the before and after this is the before this is the after as you can see now it has that magazine style look it is uh, a lot more desaturated but it, it feels like it still holds the warmth you can see that the image is really really warm but it is not as saturated as before so let's get straight into how i made this happen now the first thing that i'll do is typically reduce the saturation now i'm not just going to reduce the saturation from like the general um area the master area what i'll do is that typically i go to my reds but you can just pick this um color picker tool right here place it over our skin and you see your reds then i'm just going to pull my saturation down till you know i get to where i want it to be so somewhere around um minus 10 works for me so this is the before and this is the after you guys can see it's a lot less saturated now right now this works when you have other colors in your images so you just pick like her skin tones and this is just going to show you the range down here of her um, skin tones and you just reduce the reds now i also know she has yellows in her skin tones so what i'm going to do is just pull the yellows down too so everything will match perfectly now the next thing i'm going to do is go into my selective color and um it's already on yellow so i'll pick my colors yellow now this works for her skin tones now if you have someone that is a lot darker it might have to be your reds or something but this works perfectly for her skin tones so i'm just going to pull my cyan's up till about 18. now what this does again is that it reduces the um the reds in her skin and and it just looks a lot more natural this way you know obviously you just don't see people walking around looking red now after that this is like the the trick now to get the contrasty look right so this also reduces the saturation but it just boosts up the contrast so what i'll do now is go to my gradient map um default by default my gradient map is here but i'm just going to click at the side here and pick the black and white gradient map if for some reason you click this and it looks like um this just untick your reverse if it looks um inverted untick your reverse and this is what it looks like this image looks really nice in black and white hey i might just print it in black and white <laughs> and i'm just going to come here and choose soft light my blend modes I'm going to choose soft light my blend modes and take my um my um, opacity to 25 and that is about it soft light opacity at 25 i'll put all this in a group for you guys to see command g control on pc to put in a group and this is the before and the staff that so let me zoom in so you guys can see it this is the before oh this was before editing before and after see simple easy and you just have that nice commercial look um with three simple and easy steps like i said this was going to be a very quick easy straightforward tutorial you guys should definitely try this out in your images and if you love it definitely come in the comment section below and tell me that you love it also follow me on instagram like i said and you can comment and see more pictures there and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching have an amazing day peace